Doreen Welsh has been on the public appearance schedule ever since the Super Bowl, when she and the others on the Flight 1549 crew got their first salute for saving 155 passengers during an emergency landing on the Hudson River. Students at United Elementary School invited her to visit Wednesday, mainly to thank her for her courage and kindness to others and for a presentation from Student Council President Nicole Garshnick. As president of Student Council, I would I would like to present you with these marks. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Okay, well, I was excited about coming because it had to do with children, and it was even better than I thought. It was a wonderful experience. I liked the looks on their faces. They were truly interested in the story, and everyone here has been wonderful with me. Everyone asked to see the other gifts that Doreen has collected, including a brick that will go in the NASCAR Hall of Fame, her Super Bowl field pass, her credential for opening day at Yankee Stadium, and especially the key to the city from the mayor of New York. But what everyone really had to know was, what was it like on the plane after landing in the frigid water? I heard words that I had been trained for for 38 years that you think you're never going to hear. Captain Sully came over the PA and said, brace for impact. And I want to answer all your questions, but one question I want to answer now, because I think every single one of you wrote, were you scared? The answer is beyond scared. And I think any, any human being would feel that. It was a fear that I can't even begin to describe. We know what that means more than the passengers. There was nothing else was going to happen except we were going to crash. It was not maybe, it was not, we're going to have a hard landing. So hearing that for real was something that, there are just no words for what I felt for that, but fear beyond. Doreen Welsh said that she is undecided about going back to her job as a flight attendant. She still has post-traumatic stress issues to get over. It's been an emotional time for her, remembering the passengers who helped her after the crash and coming to grips with the meaning of getting all those passengers out alive. At the end of that night, I read these letters and sat down. It's another one of the big cries I had. I realized for the first time, not only did we save them, they showed me pictures of their babies, their parents, and I mean, and they brought, you know, these. There was a woman that came up to me, eight months pregnant, and said, "Thank you for so my baby can have a father," because he was in the back. I think he was one of the people I had to, you know, shake. And the reality of that kicked in. That was really emotional. That there, it, it, didn't, it wasn't 155 people. It, was, it, it affected way more. Doreen's son, Tim, came with her to visit United Elementary and has traveled with her to some of her other appearances, especially when she has had to fly. She said that going to New York for the Yankee Baseball Stadium opener was not easy when she saw the Hudson River again. Nothing before, not even being in the San Francisco earthquake in 1989, has been anything like being in a jet with engine failure and landing on a river in the middle of January. There are people out there, kind people, strangers in the world, which is true, and I just, uh, they all asked about being scared, and I just want to know that it's okay to be scared. You will be scared in life, and sometimes that gets you through a trying situation. Well, this is the first time I've actually done anything that wasn't uh, U.S. Air sponsored, and I just said that the children's letters just uh, got to me. So I've turned down most other things. I'm really not ready. The United Students invited Doreen Welsh to visit as part of the school-wide project called Mission Kindness. The students select a person or a group and write letters to acknowledge something outstanding that they've done. Six years ago, some of the men trapped in the Q Creek mine answered their letters and visited them. This is the Indiana Gazette Online.